Today on my journey to discover more Sarawak continues to Muka, a coastal town just about two hours drive from Cebu, Sarawak. Hi guys, I'm Bianca. In this episode, we're going to learn more about the sago, commonly known as that chewy goodness in bubble teas, or what we call bobas. So I brought Naja, a fellow bubble tea lover, to come along with me. Follow us as we learn about the process of how sago is made, and of course, to eat. Kenal dengar? Selamat tapak! Mapun muka! Hi guys, it's me again, Bianca, and I brought me, Naja. So what does that mean? So kenal dengar, selamat tapak, mapun muka means, um, hello, how are you, and welcome Ooh. to muka. So that's uh, Melanau language. Anyways, so today we're going to feast all things sago. We have the linut. Umai and Tabaloi. Yeah, so Umai is really famous here in Muka, especially Sego because Muka has the biggest plantations of Sego. Really? Yes. Cool. So we're gonna head down to Lamindana River and then go to Kampung Talian where we can see all the processing of the Sego trees. Mm -hmm. And after that, we're gonna go feast at Muka Wet Market. So shall we? Yeah, we shall. We got off the boat ride and we're currently working out our cores, balancing on this sago tree that's been cut down. Like the ones that we saw earlier? Yeah, so they cut it up into pieces and then send it to the mill. The first stage is that sago tree right now. That's a mature sago tree. And that's not the end of our sago processing experience. And I appreciate your sago because... The uncle really works hard. <laughs> he does, because it's currently flooded and there's a lot of bugs. I'm super out of my element, but I'm still having a great time because, you know, when you talk about food, you only think about food, but this is low-key adventure because I'm a city girl, born and bred. <laughs> Good morning! It's day two in Moka. Me and Naja went down to Muka Wet Market to do a little shopping for our breakfast. And you can only get the good stuff in the morning before it gets sold out. You can find fresh goodies like fruits, fish, veggies, and so much more. And on our shopping list, we got some sago flour for our linut, sago pearls to snack on, and other crackers such as tabaloi, kwesa pit. But before we do eat, we had the pleasure of making some sago pearls yesterday. Let's rewind. Hey, we're here at the Belanga with Mr. Ben. He's going to show us the process of making sago pearls. Uh, as you can see, there's some uh, balls are forming, pearls are forming. So we'll show you how it's done. We're doing it right. Yeah. So, yeah. Sago pearls. Uh, so all the small one goes out. Yeah. So then, you cook it, right? Yeah. After after this, they head to the cooking station right there. They're here at the cooking station and Auntie was about to put a fresh batch but she told me to do it, so I'm about to do it. Right? <laughs> okay. well, I think she's spreading it throughout the stove so it cooks evenly. It takes yeah. about 10 minutes to cook. This stove right here, this clay stove with an open fire underneath. It's not hot. Yeah, I mean it's hot. warm, but it's hot. Yeah. And Auntie must feel great, strong from the heat because it is hot here. Like a sauna. Yeah. Oh, it's still hot. It's still hot. Is it? Wow. Yeah. 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 Fresh. It's good. With Muka being a coastal town, we got to see the catch of the day. From crabs to fish and prawns, we came across the highlight of Muka wet market, umai. And Uncle tried teaching how to make some umai. Keyword, I tried. Where's Jazz when you need him for his handy knife skills, which I don't have at all? I always mess up with the front part, but the back it's okay. Yes, I messed up. <laughs> I am so sorry. Look at Uncle, he makes it look so easy. I can't forget the chili. 
for you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now it's time for breakfast. Just nearby, we headed to Auntie Diana's where she's gonna show us how linut is made. So Auntie's making some linut, so she's pouring uh, some hot water into the sago flour. Those round blocks that we saw in the in the mar wet market. This. So Auntie's gonna stir it until it turns into like a gooey cake. Yeah. For the main dish, grilled sago worms. You can eat this little buggers raw or cooked. So me and Naja opted for the cooked version, although Uncle Ben did try to convince us to eat this little buggers raw. Not on my watch, Uncle Ben. That brings us to the end of our mocha trip and no. I had a lovely time with Naja. Me too. So we had a day, two days actually, discovering about the sago and of course eating. So Naja, what was your most favorite dish? Okay, my favorite was definitely the umai. Same, same here. And I, I had the experience of actually like cutting up the umai. Yeah, yeah. She's a pro now. No la, I cannot, I cannot. But <laughs> Definitely thank you to Uncle Ben and Auntie Diana yeah. for cooking us some great food and showing us Helping around. Helping us around for yeah. our journey. Yeah. So if you want to come and discover more of Sarau, come by to Mocha and see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.